Eric Haraldson, nicknamed Eric Bloodaxe, was the best known names in Viking history, who lived during the 10th century. He is believed to have been the King of Norway, and later became the King of Northumbria. Eric Bloodaxe is believed to have been one of the many sons of Harald Fairhair, King of Norway. He was Harald's most beloved son. At the age of 12, Eric was given five long ships by his father, and thus began his career as a Viking. Eric first sailed eastwards, where he raided the coasts of Denmark, Friesland and Saxland for three years. He then sailed to the west, and raided Scotland, and the area around the Irish Sea. Eric gained the nickname, Bloodaxe, due to his Viking raids. Eric was married to Gunhild, who is generally depicted as an evil witch. She was the daughter of Gorm the Old, King of Denmark, and the sister to Harald Bluetooth. Harald Fairhair is recorded to have unified Norway. He had alliances with other Norwegian rulers, so exercised powers over other parts of the country. Harald divided his kingdom among all his sons, making each of them kings. Eric appointed as high king, and therefore ruled over his siblings. After Harald's death, the arrangements have been destroyed among his sons. Eric proceeded to kill his brothers, in an attempt to become the sole ruler of Norway. Eric murdered five of his brothers. It is unclear how many brothers Eric killed, but one of his half-brother, Harkon was survived, who was raised in England at the court of King Athelstan. Eric's rule was so brutal and unpopular, so Norwegian rulers decided to replace him with Harkon. Eric eventually fled to England, who did not even bother to put up a fight. He was welcomed with open arms by King Athelstan, and was even made sub-king of Northumbria under Athelstan's authority. Eric was made king by the Northumbrians, several years after Athelstan's death, in resistance of Edred, Athelstan's son. By making Eric their king, the Northumbrians hoped to gain independence from the Anglo-Saxons, who had brought them under their control in 927 AD. Edred responded by invading and ravaging Northumbria. On his way back to the south, Edred's army was attacked by Eric at Castleford, and many lives were lost. Furious Edred, threatened to destroy Northumbria, unless they submitted to his rule. This time, the Northumbrians decided to appease Edred, and they expelled Eric. After Eric was expelled, the Northumbrians had accepted a new king, an Irish Viking Olaf Citrixen. Later Eric returned to Northumbria and overthrowed Olaf. Eric's reign in Northumbria lasted merely two years this time. Eventually he fell out of favor with the Northumbrians, and was expelled once more. After the expulsion of Eric Bloodaxe, King Edred of Wessex gained control. From then on, York and Northumbria remained part of a united Anglo-Saxon kingdom. Eric Bloodaxe was killed in ambush, at the age of 59, along with five kings in Stainmore by Maccus, an agent of Oswulf Fieldulfing. Oswulf was a supporter of Edred, who may have encouraged the murder. The Norse sagas states that, Eric Bloodaxe was a barbarian, a murderous tyrant, whose savagery was shocking even by Viking standards. A long-held local legend states, the Ray Cross at Stainmore was the burial place of Eric Bloodaxe, however it is argued that, it was merely a boundary stone halfway between Penrith and Barnard Castle. The skaldic poem Eric Small describes, Eric's heroic entrance into Valhalla, and his welcome by the gods after his death at Stainmore.